Hi guys, so today I'll be getting you to on how to update your HB agency add.txt file. So I've been getting this uh, request from my subscribers to teach them how to update their add.txt file on their blog by themselves. So that's what I'll be getting you to on how to do today. So for example, if you log into your HB agency account, you can see update your add.txt file on a red sign something like that so i'll show you how to do this so you know how to do this but before that if today is your first time of visiting my channel please do it to hit the subscription button down below and the notification button close to it to get notified anytime it uploads an awesome video like this so what i need to do okay so let me go back and click on this click on download so as you can see i've downloaded the add.txt file so what i need to do is just to go to my blog then i'll go to plugins i'll go to plugin for people using what I go to add new plugin. Click on add new plugin. So uh, it's loading. So what I need to do is just to come and search file manager file manager. I'm searching for file manager. This helps you to navigate to the back end of your website of your WordPress blog. So as you can see. This file manager with one, one plus million active installers. So that's what I'll be using for this particular uh, tutorial. So what I will just click on install, please, and be, be sure that be aware that once you are done using this particular plugin, do it to uninstall it from your blog because hackers come from this hack your website. So be warned. After using this particular plugin, uninstall it immediately from your WordPress website. So I'll click on File Manager. So as you can see, this is the back end. This is what you can access from cPanel, but you are doing that with your WordPress website. So this plugin enables you to access the back end, that's the cPanel end of your WordPress website. So what I need to do is just to create, as you can see, we already have add.txt file. So you can see this is the add.txt file on my website. But in your case, if you don't have this already on your website, if you don't have this add.txt.txt, what you need to do is just to create a new one. Just come to this plus icon. As you can see, this place where you see plus icon that you are creating a file. Click on create new file. Click on create new file. It tests. You are creating a test file. You can also create a CSS file or HTML file, but, but what we want to create is a test file. So once I just give it a name, ads. Once I click on add, I'll click on enter. Once I click on enter, you will see that it is add. I will put one because I already have a ads.txt file. I don't want to create a duplicate of that. So let me just put one. But in your case, don't put one. Just put ads.txt and click on enter. As you can see, I've already created ads one.txt. I already have ads.test. So uh, I don't need this. So let me just delete this particular one here. So what I, I can right click here and I'll go and delete this particular one. So let me remove it. So I will click on this one that I already have. This ads.test. I will right click there and click on code editor as you can see here click on code editor so it will open the the interface where i can edit my add.txt file as you can see this add, let me move this up a bit so this add.txt file from hb agency this is only hb agency so see it here this is hb agency so what i need to do go and open the one that i downloaded this is what i downloaded so I'll just open it. This is one I, I've opened it here. So this is the add.txt file. I'll just click on copy everything. I'll just copy everything. I'll copy everything and come back to this place. I will highlight. Remember, this is 81C. So let me delete this and put this. You understand? So I have updated the add.txt file. I think they removed some of the the files. Right? They, they removed some of the line of code, some of the sellers or the sellers. So, but 
if you are having the why I did this like this because I monetized my blog only with HB agency. That's why I deleted all the ad.txt file on this particular blog and put only the HB agency ad.txt file. Let's assume that you are using other company to monetize your blog. Like if you are using AdSense, you are supposed to put AdSense ad.txt file. If you are using Astella on that blog, you're supposed to put Astella ad.txt file and all that, depending on the company that you are using. So you don't need to delete or what you need to do, what you need to do is to first and foremost, you copy out the HB agency. What I normally do is that I normally add those HB agency, those uh, AdSense ad.txt file. Let's assume that I have AdSense and HB agency. I will add the AdSense to normally publish, publish uh, PB. Uh, there's a way the AdSense have their own. I might put it at the top here. So anytime that HB agency, because I don't normally update the AdSense own, it's only the HB agency ad that normally updates. After some months, they will send you a notification on your dashboard to update your ad.txt file. So what I normally do is to put the AdSense or any other company there, I'll put it at the top. I'll put all of them at the top so that I don't need to be updating that one. So what I need to do, if I want to update HB agency, what I need to do, this is where the HB agency ad starts from. HB agency slash your blog name. So I'll just click on that. Start moving now until I highlight all the HB agency ad .text file. Once I highlighted all of them, I'll click on delete them. Then I'll add the new one. Just copy and paste the new one there. So that you are doing this so that the AdSense or any other company's own will still be, will still be here. You understand? If you also monetize your blog with other accounts, yeah, add, add those text supposed to also appear on your blog. So once you are done with this, you click on save and save and close. As you can see, it's loading here. So I'm done with this. After doing this, you need to also confirm this from your blog that what you have done is successful. So what I need to do is just come and put my blog name, my United FC slash, you put slash ads.tst. Once you put this and search this, you know that you can able to see, check the end of that particular code, check the end, and I know, I know that it has updated and aligned with the one that you are seeing here. So this is how it's supposed to appear. So you have successfully updated your ads.txt file. Then after two hours, you go and check your HB agency account, then it will, that red warning bar will not be there again. You will see that your account has been, your ad or test file has been updated successfully. So, and if you find anybody in this particular video, please do it to subscribe to our channel, share this video with your friends, and like and comment. Let me know in the comment section the, the challenge they are facing on blogging and HB agency as a whole, so that I will consider making that video on my next. So, thanks for watching this video.